Now that we have our um, API done and our front end done, what I'm going to do is start uh, showing you what we're going to uh, do on the uh, AWS part of this course. So as you remember, what we did on the Nomad Grab and the, then the front end is that we built a React application, right? So just to remind you, don't forget to build it, all right? Because when we push our code to the Amazon Web Servers, we're going to be uh, displaying the static version of the React files. This means that the build version of the React files. So I'm going to go to Documents, Nomagram, right? And now here I will say inside of Frontend, okay? And now uh, I will run Jarn build, all right? Don't forget this part is very important. Uh, this is going to copy it uh, to the folders that we already set on the uh, front end part, so I don't have to, there's no need to talk about it. But the important part is that you build it so um, when we push it to Amazon, it doesn't doesn't um, show the old version. All right. So here is uh, everything is built, everything is all good. There is some things that I, I could fix, which is a linter, which it says that. Uh, Search term is assigned value, but never used. Path name is never used. Image elements must have an alt prop. These are just warnings, all right? These are not errors. You can choose to fix them. I'm going to fix them because it's nice to have complete code. You know, it's nice to have uh, full functional code. So I'm going to go to front end. And this is on container JS in search. Components search container.js and on the line 26. 26. Both of these guys are not required. All right, done. And now put a photo display index.js. What is photo display index.js? Photo display image have an, should have an alt prop. Alt. Um, I don't know. Photo. This is just bullshit, right? All right. Now let's build again, just to see if there is no warnings, and we can continue. I'm gonna close the code. Let's see. Wait. Now uh, I skip complain. Redundant alt attribute. Skin readers only announce image tags. So you need to word image photo. Whatever. He's just complaining about this thing. So I can just change it to something else. And it still will work. All right. So this is built. Don't forget to build it. Okay. Now, second thing, we're going to log in into aws.amazon.com. The good thing, I think I'm logged in already. Let me log out. The good thing, oh no, I'm not logged in. The good thing about Amazon, um, Amazon Web Services is that you can get a free um, year of a trial in a like a small server for a free year. This is super cool. Like this is super cool, super super cool. I'm gonna sign in with a different account. And the fact that uh, all you have to do is just log in. Uh, sorry, create your account. You can. You have to verify your email, I think, and maybe you have to verify your phone. Then you add a credit card, and then you're immediately uh, inside of the free year of uh, Amazon. Now, this doesn't mean that you can have anything on the free year. You cannot get like the fastest, biggest database, or you can also not get, you cannot get the, like the, the, the biggest uh, server, all right? The free uh, plan includes a micro and a small database, all right? And a micro um, server, which is good enough if you're testing, all right? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna import my, I have my already, I already logged in before. I am not on the free plan, which is uh, a PD. And uh, we will email you the code to verify your identity. When you say, yeah, you see, they're making me verify shit. All right, I'm gonna pause, and when I come back, I'll be verifying. Right, now we're logged in, and this is your AWS console. Now, AWS has a lot of stuff. If you go to services here, you will see how many things they have. It's insane, all right? It's crazy. They have something new for AR and VR. They have stuff for machine learning. 
they have stuff only for game development they have uh, game development they have stuff only for internet of things they have desktop apps and streaming of video they also have insane things for analytics they also handle authentication they have databases systems they can transcode convert your video they have also backups this is it's just it's just too much all right so i mean i could make a course for each one of them to be able to learn how to use them it's crazy all right now the ones we're going to use in this course is rds i'm going to open it here and elastic beanstalk all right so I want to explain before that, before I, want, before I explain what uh, Elastic Beanstalk is, I'm going to explain what EC2 is and S3 are, all right? So I wanna close Elastic Beanstalk here, all right? So RDS, RDS is a service where Amazon runs relational databases, like the PostgreSQL database. Now where we, right now what we're doing is that when we run our server on our, on our uh, terminal, on our computer, we have installed, on the same server, we have installed our database, right? by server i mean in our computer so in my mac i have installed progress and i have also running python and they connect because they're on the same server computer now this is not a good practice when you are on a when you are deploying to the cloud when you are going for production when you want real users and why is that well that's because many of the times what you're going to do on the cloud is that you're going to create a computer Right? You're going to create some a computer for you. You're going to upload your Python code, yeah, and your computer is going to start running. And a lot of people are going to start coming. So maybe later you'll be like, holy shit, I need more computing power. So what will you do? You copy this computer, and now you have two computers working to the same, uh, doing the same workload. Maybe one more people come. Maybe thousands of people come. So may, you, you maybe you, you change to more computers right and for example if you are supporting maybe many users all over the world there is something called load balancing load balancing right and load balancing helps you in the way that if for example somebody comes uh, to my nomadgram and they are maybe in Canada right Amazon is smart enough that is going to create a server only for them there in Canada, so it's going to it's going to it's going to give them a copy of my server, but it's going to be hosted in Amazon Canada server. Right now, we are talking in Amazon North Virginia, so everything we do is in the North Virginia region. If you want to support all the regions, we will need to have many computers, many servers spread all around the globe, right? Supporting and having a copy of the same code. So if we have so many computers. This means that we cannot host one database for each computer. We cannot do this because the database needs to be big. The database needs to be one. Many computers, many servers can be all over the world supporting the network, but the database must be one. All right. And this is why we don't, uh, we're going to use Amazon, Amazon relational database services. Because one thing is having the server running on Django. Other thing is completely different having the Amazon database, all right? The Postgres database. So our Django, um, our Django computers are going to connect to the Amazon uh, RDS, all right? But we only have one RDS, only one database, all right? And we can have as many instances and as many servers as we want connecting to the same database. That's why we're gonna do it differently. Remember, what we do in my computer is basically just my Postgres installation plus my Django installation run on the same computer. We're not gonna do this on the Amazon um, AWS, all right? Because it's not a good it's not a good practice to type your Python code plus your database. It should be distributed. It should be in a different place. All right. Now EC2, EC2 is like Imagine that it's a computer, all right? Basically, that's easy to. You pay for a computer, all right? And a computer that is running 24 server, 24 seven that you can connect to it. So what is easy to? Easy to is like if you had an empty computer. And uh, I'm gonna show you right now, launch instance to see what happens. I can choose, for example, what kind of computer do I want? As you can see here, and what kind of OS is going to have Red Hat, Amazon, Linux, Ubuntu, Windows, uh, or more Ubuntu, uh, Deep Learning, like many, many, many kinds of computer with a pre-configured uh, installation of stuff, all right? So this will be EC2. EC2 is to create servers that we can connect, all right? And um, 
when we talk about servers, we don't say servers, we say instances, all right? An instance. Um, an instance is, uh, by default, like an empty computer. It has maybe, if you choose Ubuntu, for example, it will have like empty Ubuntu. It is fresh installed. And you're going to start installing Python. You will install Django. You will install pip, pipemp, and all that stuff, all right? So it's like an empty computer. Now, the other one is S3. S3 is... Um, like where you store your data, all right? That's what they call buckets. So S3 is where you store the data and you put it on buckets. So the code, for example, is going to be stored in a bucket, all right? If a user uh, uploads some something, is a, if a user uploads something to the database, like an image, that image is gonna go to the bucket, all right? It's not gonna go to the instance, to the server, because the server is only for code, the server is only for execution of code and connection to the database the s3 is a completely different server but everything is going to be connected to the ec2 so the ec2 is the server it takes everything but when you save files you save them on the s3 as you can see amazon um, amazon the web servers aws is super it's a super cool system where you can distribute and assign responsibilities to many different things so for example if you want to save your files you will talk about s3 if you want to talk about your Python code and your server and how fast it is and the optimizations and the Python version, you talk about EC2. If you want to create a new database, if you want to create maybe something different, you will talk about RDS, which is the database part. As you can see, everything is distributed. And this is better because it's not so good to handle everything on the single place. So after I talked about all these things, you will say, all right, so we have to configure S S3, we have to configure EC2, and we have to configure RDS. Well, that could be a pain in the ass, right? So what I'm going to do is to show you something called Elastic Beanstalk. Elastic Beanstalk is something that helps you deploy applications, push them to the cloud super easily, and it configures automatically all this madness, RDS, EC2, and S3, all right? It will create them automatically, and it will just push the code to it. And we can handle the, the pushing and everything from the command, from the command line. It's super cool. It works with Git, so whatever you commit to Git, you can push and it will update your code automatically. It's super, super cool. All right, so uh, I guess that's it. As you can see here, you can uh, just select a platform where you want to deploy and what you want to do, and you're good. As you can see here, we can choose .NET, .NET Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Tomcat, Go, Python, whatever. All right, awesome. So yeah, that's it. Uh, log in to your AWS and I will see you on the next video. Remember, right now you're in the free plan. If you do whatever I want, to, I'm going to tell you, you're gonna stay in the free plan. If you've been more than one year with Amazon the web servers, you're not in the free plan just like me. If you wanna work uh, close to Asia, you just, close, you just choose Asia Pacific Seoul, and there you're gonna uh, be talking about that region. If you, put us, if you start your servers in a region like North Virginia, then they're gonna stay in North Virginia, all right? So you have to choose the servers to be closer as where your customers are, all right? Of course, there are ways to support global customers, but the data center, the, like the, 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 the route will be somewhere, all right? So, all right, that's it. See you in the next video, bye-bye.